Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya na Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma bad ayyul habita fillah Iman in Islam is comprised of our actions the deeds of the heart meaning our belief and the statement of the tongues and as far as the utterance of the tongue, an example of Iman would be the testimony of faith, bearing witness that there is no God worthy of worship except Allah, and that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam is the last prophet and messenger of Allah. And that's the utterance of Iman in our tongue. Iman in our heart is what we believe, and that comprises of things like the pillars of Iman. As the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam said, Al-Iman in tu'mina billahi wa malaikati wa kutubihi wa rasuli wa liyawm al-akhir wa tu'mina bi qadri khayrihi wa shar. He said that Iman is to believe in Allah and to believe in His angels and to believe in His divine books that He revealed and to believe in His messengers alayhim afdal salatu wa salam and to believe in the Day of Judgment, and to believe in the divine decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the good of it and the evil of it. All of this is comprised of Iman. Those are the pillars of Iman. And so believing in that, that has to do with actions of the heart. And outward actions, ahabatifillah, that have to do with Iman, things like doing an act of charity, smiling at someone, uh, praying the salat, make, performing the pilgrimage, the hajj, doing talab al-ilm. Those are outward actions of iman, outward expressions of iman. And iman, as we know, it fluctuates. Sometimes it's high and sometimes it's low. Sometimes we feel the Iman, we, we feel strong and we feel more inclined to do righteous deeds. And sometimes we're weak due to sins and due to doubtfulness and those things which weigh us down and prohibit us from coming closer to Allah Azza wa Jal. And those things are imperative for us to understand about Iman. And from Iman, as a part of Iman, is loving your Muslim brother in a way, in what you love for yourself. The Prophet ﷺ said, لَا يُؤْمِنُ أَهْدَكُمْ حَتَّى يُحِبُّ لِأَخِيهِ مَا يُحِبُّ لِنَفْسِهِ He said that one of you does not truly believe until he loves for his brother what he loves for himself. Imam Anawi said about this hadith, مَعْنَاهُ لَا يُكْمِلُ إِمَانَهُ حَتَّى يُحِبُّ لِلْمُسْلِمِينَ مِثْلَ مَا يُحِبُّ لِنَفْسِهِ مِنَ الْخَيْرِ وَقَدْ جَاءَ فِي رُوَائِتِ لِلنِّسَاءِ حَتَّى يُحِبُ لِأَخِيهِ مَا يُحِبُ لِنَفْسِهِ مِنَ الْخَيْرِ So Imam Nawawi explained that hadith. He said that the meaning of this hadith is that one of you, their iman is not complete until they...